Hi right, my friends, how you all doing? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a fresh episode of The Palomo Problem. We are still here the wrong way round in the office, my friends, but, you yeah, know, it is what it is. All was explained in last episode, and if you haven't seen last episode, my friends, it's linked above right now, so make sure you go and check that one out. Uh, today, Europa League action. We are going to be playing the first and the second leg of the first knockout round in today's episode, ladies and gents. So, uh, yeah, this one should be a good one. We've got nothing to get caught up on, so let's crack on and get down with the football. And so here we go, ladies and gents. First leg is going to be at home. So I think it's all important that we try it as much as we can to keep a clean sheet uh, in this one. I have tried to pick the strongest team possible, um, but we are currently without a left-sided player because Arambasic and Buta are both out injured. Uh, and Galvez, a young 16-year-old, cannot play there. So we're having to really change things up there. And I'm going to give one of the other strikers a bit of a go because Haaland has struggled since joining the football club. But anyway, my friends, let's get on with this one. We're going to go with Gasparini in goal, Cruz Ranieri fullback, uh, Harwood Beliscozzi centre back, Ronocchio Scandroglio in the centre of midfield, Virginia Lacera on the wings, Ilano through the middle, and Yuri Nemec is going to come in to play up top. So let's do this one. First leg, come on, we need a big performance. And so here we go, ladies and gentlemen, the boys line up for this big, big game uh, in Europe. Now, this one isn't going to be played out in its entirety, it is going to be highlights packaged because it is just the first knockout round, but should we get to, you know, the latter stages? That will all change. Early doors, though, Virginius has picked up a knock. Could really do without another injury. As uh, we do continue now, Ranieri's throwing into Ilano, now into Ranieri again, who is going to try and come forward and force the issue. Instead, it comes back to Scandroglio, who's good ball out wide to Philip Cruz. Is there Nemig's header? 1-0 below. What a start inside five minutes. So, 20 minutes have gone in the first half, and uh, really, Shakhtar Donetsk are on top statistically in the game but as far as the scoreline is concerned it's the only thing that matters as Nemec takes that one out of the air and he's going to continue to come forward it's a good challenge though but Virginius on the ball into Scandroglio now I was just about to say if he goes wide Philip Cruz is there again now back to Ilano back to Philip Cruz can he dig out a ball no instead he's going to go to Virginius oh it's another header and it's cannoned off the crossbar this time okay we have uh, a free kick here to Shakhtar Donetsk they're going to play out from the back and have done so very very well it has to be said as uh, the ball goes wide and I'm a little concerned there's no one out there to cover that Virginius didn't really get a tackling didn't really make the effort to put the tackling I think that injury is playing up on him but I don't have a winger to bring on as that ball comes in but it's well headed out and now Lacera is he going to be able to stretch his legs over on the left hand side no instead he stops losing the ball and they're going to come forward that's a great pass that's a great save and that is why we have Gasparini in goal and uh, this does continue potentially with another highlight and uh, you know we need to wake up at the back defensively very very uh, you know sorry for ourselves the fullbacks for whatever reason just keep tucking in I'm not happy with that ball comes in over the bar this time okay ladies and gents the first half is in the books I'm actually going to praise the lads for their efforts but um, I'm going to make a change at half time Virginius for me I think it was kind of showing that that injury was affecting him a bit more than it should be and I'm going to bring Cristiano on for him now I believe Cristiano no Cristiano is right footed I always thought he was left footed for some reason but we're going to play him as a as a winger I know it's not really his position he can play there though and he's going to have to come on and do a job for us there in the second half right corner Scandroglio with it oh it's well headed out by their defender but Gozzi now Gozzi went for a long shot I'm very surprised the centre back tried that one but uh, it's over the bar right I need to make another change and it really needs to be Lacera that comes off because because of the injuries I might need him for the Pascara game I'm really concerned at how the injuries are, are, um, are chalking up for us now so Lacera it's going to have to be Haaland, I think, who comes on. Um, I'm going to bring him on as a Raudemouter, I think. It's not his position, but he is left-footed. He can play out there. So, yeah, we're going to bring him on to play out on the left wing. It's a bit strange. I'm aware of that, but... I'm also aware of the fact that the injuries are really chalking up at the football club. I'm going to make one more change, and it is going to be Scandroglio to make way, and Fagioli is going to come on for him, and it's just really a straight swap, that one. He can come in and do the do the work. Really need Scandroglio available for every game as much as possible, because he is the difference maker. Okay, Gasparini now into Harwood. Bellis, are we going to build, or are we going to lose the ball? 
It looks as though we're going to build as Ranocchia now. Goes all the way back to Fagiolo, who is very, very deep there. Ilano, that's a really poor pass from Ilano. He really hasn't shown me that he is worth, you know, potentially spending money on him uh, to make his uh, transfer full-timers. That's going to be 1-1, one, one, and that's a really important away goal. We have... That's poor. That's poor all round, that. I was just about to ask for something from the boys, and uh, we might have a chance here. That ball comes in. Fagioli needs to get there. He does. Cruz. Now, Ranocchia, it's to you, my friend. Now, Cruz. What a ball! And all in! All in! Come off the man! Come off the hour! Get in there! Oh, we could have Insta highlight. Do not let them go up the other end and score. Haaland with his first for the club and he puts us back in the lead. Brilliant stuff. Ilano now into Cristiano. We are essentially playing two strikers on the wings out of position because of the troubles we're having at the football club. As Cristiano loses the football, it's really poor from him. Really, really poor. All he had to do was pass it up the line and there's tackles flying in everywhere here. Um... Come on, boys. See this out. Don't let them score again. Two away goals would be huge for them. Oh, what a save from Gasparini. Get it out. Yes. All right, free kick to Shakhtar. Need to defend this. Ilano does. And then brilliant header from uh, Haaland as well. Nemec. Oh, if he just held the ball up, he would have seen that Haaland was there. Racing up behind him. That's a shot. It's gone wide. Right, Ranocchia into Fagiola. Back to Ranocchia. Don't lose it. Oh, Ilano loses it. Maybe it weren't the best pass. There was a lot of pressure there. He's coming through. He's coming through. And Gasparini again keeps him out. Okay, we're into four minutes of injury time here. Can we hold on? Oh, God. Oh, God. Come on. Hold on, boys. Hold on. Hold on. It's been all them in the latter stages as Cruz clears that one out. Anywhere would have done. And it's come wide. It's a good cross. It's still in there. It's another good cross and it's over the crossbar. Come on. Come on. Just see this out. They have gone for it big time in these last few moments of the game. But it does look as though Haaland is going to be the hero of this one. Off the bench. Get in there. Great first leg win. Okay, my friends. So we are back for the second leg. But before we crack on with that, um, we have played a game against Pescara in the league. And we narrowly won this one by two goals to one. Uh was again a very heavily rotated team and we just about managed to get through it you will see though Pescara lost their heads two men sent off in the game but uh, Terzic with a penalty on the 12th minute and Angel Galvez made himself the youngest ever goal scorer for Palermo when he popped up with an 88th minute winner and uh, that was assisted by Haaland as well who I have been bringing off the bench I think maybe we need to just ease him into the team uh, slowly but surely I'm going to apologise if you can hear any barking out Outside. One of my dogs is doing my absolute nothing today. He ain't shut up. But anyway, let's get into this second leg and hopefully we can come through this um, and be in the next round. We are 2 1 up from the first leg, so let's hope we can do it, my friends. So we're going to go with Gasparini in goal, Cruz and Ranieri at fullback, Howard Bellis and Gozzi at centre back, Ronakia Scandroglio in the midfield, Virginius Buta on the wings, Maya through the middle, and I'm going to give Nemec another go up top. At the end of the day, he scored in the first leg. Let's hope he can score in this one. We have Haaland, we have Lacera, we have all the other favourites on the bench waiting to come on, licking their chops to win this game. Let's do it. And so here we go, ladies and gents. The boys come out. I believe we are playing all. All in black in this one and uh, yeah hopefully we can get ourselves a goal it could be insta start here because uh yeah we are right away with a highlight as Maya kind of dances through out to wide to Booter on the wing it's a nice ball in it's still bobbing around we're not here out to Cruz now where's he going to go with this he dances through it's a lovely ball and there we have it it's Saber the keeper Nuno Maya puts it in it's an important away goal and we're 3-1 up on aggregate right so we're 20 minutes into this first half of the second leg and it is still 1-0 and uh, it's a pretty even game at this moment in time three shots to them four to us We've had the only shot registered on target in the game and uh, very 50-50 on the possession too. Um, Gasparini, though, with a goal kick into Harwood Bellis. He's going to come wide to Cruz and he's going to come all the way back to Gasparini into Scandroglio now. Back again. We're fannying about it. We've done this a few times this season. It hasn't played out well, but we've managed to find our way into the midfield and now Ranocchia. It's a poor pass trying to go out wide, gives the ball away and... Um, 
Really need to try and win this one back now, if we can. As uh, we're putting the press on, which is quite good. We're not allowing them to play football. Oh, I've just punched the microphone. And, uh, yeah, come on. Someone win the ball and see if we can race up the other end and uh, get the job done. We've forced them all the way back to the goalkeeper. Um, but they are taking their time with it. And, oh, they've got a bit of an overload here on the left-hand side. Can we take him out? No, we can't. And it's going to be an own goal from Philip Cruz. He's had an absolute nightmare. And Shakhtar have a free kick. And I'm a little bit worried now. I'm going to be honest. I feel like Shakhtar are really going to come into their own. Again, they've got two men over here. What a ball that is. But what a save from Gasparini. I'm sure you're bored of me saying what a save. But he does bail us out on so many occasions. They're coming down this wing again. And this time we can't keep it out. And it's all gone. Peak Tong. 2-1 Shakhtar. Yeah, it's poor. It's really poor and the team have just fallen to sleep um, and I am actually going to be bringing Booter off he's had a terrible half of football and we're going to bring uh, we're going to bring Haaland into the game in the position we did in the first leg and let's see if it can have the desired effect right in the second half not much has happened but Ranocchia is going to come off for Fagiolo and I'm actually going to push Haaland up top um as a pressing forward, and Nemec is going to make way for Lacera, who is going to come on as an inverted winger on support. Virginius isn't having a good game, but it's kind of all we can do. I don't want to stretch us too far, because 20 minutes to go, it's 3-3. Free free. This is going extra time as things stand. As Shakhtar have the football, and... Uh, this is a desperate situation for us now. It really, really is. We need to win the football, and Maya does do that. And can he find someone? He does. He finds Haaland, who is going to come forward. Oh, the shot is so tame. Well, oh, injury time is here, and extra time is imminent. And, uh... Yeah, I'm not happy. I'm really not happy with the performance. There's too many players dilly-dallying about. Haaland, since he's gone up top, has fallen off. Virginius isn't having a good game. And just the players we usually rely on to make the impact are just not doing it. 100 minutes played. Um, yeah, we're just, we're just not doing anything, are we, in this one? We've been really, really poor. And uh, we're going to come to the end of this first half of extra time. And we've thrown this away, really. If this goes to penalties and we lose it, we've massively thrown this away. We took the lead so, so early, and uh, we've just done nothing since. And uh, Haaland, come on, man. I paid £20 million for you, and you can't score the all-important goals. And just no one's really performing. Lacera is not playing well either, and they've got a throw in now. It's in their half. If we press them in the right way, we win this back and we're already in their half. We're halfway there, do you know what I mean? But it doesn't look like it's going to be the case. They're passing around us way too easy in this game and it's been, you know, the case the entire time. And uh, we need someone to win this football now. Maya, he's going to keep going. He's going to keep, keep churning away. Now into the keeper. And they've just done it. Look at that. It's so easy to pass around us and... That's a great ball, and it's a tame shot, and we're getting lucky the fact their finishing boots are not on as well. Right, a free kick. Scan draw. No, 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 no. Come on, just take him out if you have to. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. There we go. Lovely stuff. Gozi finds Lacera. Now, where's this going to go from here? Lacera is driving forward. Lacera is still driving. Still driving. Oh, what a shot and what a save. What a goal it would have been. It's a shame that he couldn't have found a pass, though, instead. As the corner comes in, it's headed out. This is probably going to come to nothing as Virginius picks it up. He's going nowhere. And I fear, I fear this, this is going to penalties, ladies and gents. And uh, I'm hoping that I've got the good penalty takers on the pitch so who have we got that can take the penalties uh we are going to pick them ourselves because whenever i've auto picked before it's been awful so for uh, harland for Gooley, um i think virginius will take next meyer after him and then lacera and i think that's the only way we can really do this and then gozi scandroglio cruz uh, Taylor Harwood Bellis yeah brilliant here we go penalties didn't want it to come to this I really really didn't now Harland please 
score your penalty. Please score your penalty. He does. He rolls that one in the bottom corner. That is brilliant. Now we need Gasparini, the hero in most games, to really step up and make himself a hero in the penalty shootouts. As Horton now, and he went the right way, but it's bottom corner. It's a good finish. And now we need Fa Fagiolo to put his penalty away. Come on. Put it away. Put it away. Yes, he does with a plum. That's a lovely penalty. Two for two for Palermo. Come on. Harry Winks. He's going to step up for Shakhtar now from the spot. And oh, he went the right way again. He just couldn't get down low enough to save the penalty. Now it's Virginius. He's been excellent most of the season. Started in electric form. He puts his penalty away. Beautiful job. Come on. We just need one of theirs to not go in, to take the pressure off a little bit. And that one, he sent the keeper the wrong way this time. Six perfect penalties. It's now Meyer's turn to keep this up. And can he put his penalty away? And yes, he can! Bottom corner, brilliant penalty. Brrr, save this one, Gasparini. And then we just need one... Oh, it might be, oh, ah, got to score our last. Got to score our last and hope. Come on, Lacera. Come on, Lacera. Put it away, lad. Put it away. Put it away. He does. Come on. Come on. Gasparini just needs to save this. I can't believe we've seen nine perfect penalties. It's just not the case usually, is it? But Toff is going to be the man to step up. To take this penalty, Gasparini, can he write himself in Palermo history with a save here from the spot? Toff. Yes, he can! Get in there! A beautiful save from the penalty spot, and we are through to the next round. And so we're going to finish the episode, ladies and gents, by drawing the second uh, round. It's the second knockout round of the competition. Uh, this is where it gets interesting, in my opinion, because this is where all the winners of the group stages enter the competition. Uh, so without further ado, let's just draw the teams. I'm not going to go through them all. I uh, want to try and get this episode done and dust it. So the first team out of the hat is PSV Eidenhoven, and they're going to be taking on Atletico Bilbao. Uh, we're then going to have Galatasaray, and they're going to be taking on Besiktas, an all-Turkish tie there. Well, then we've got Palermo. We're going to be having our first leg at home. And we are going to be taking on Bournemouth. Bournemouth of the Premier League are going to be coming to Sicily to face off against us. Very, very interesting. Uh, Inter take on Stuttgart. Uh, Hoffenheim take on Sevilla. Uh, Zenit St. Petersburg take on Liverpool. Uh, Copenhagen take on Fiorentina. And Napoli take on Feyenoord. And that completes the draw, ladies and gents. An English team. Very, very interesting. Bournemouth in the second knockout round. So, we are at the fixtures screen now. Jesus Christ, that was not a nice game of football that we just played uh, in the Europa League. Uh, we've got Barcia up next in the league. I think I'm going to play that one off camera. And then next episode, I think I will bring to you the semi-final against Fiorentina. It will be in its entirety. And I might even couple that with the game against Juventus. Oh, and then we've got the Europa League again. It's really bunched up this season. There's so many episodes because of us being in Europe and all that sort of stuff. But uh, yeah, that's what we'll do next episode. We'll be back for that second leg tight against Fiorentina. Whether or not I couple it with Juve, we'll wait and see. Uh, I might do, I might not. Um, We'll wait and see, I think. But uh, as far as the league table is concerned, I'll show you this because we did play Pescara uh, here to, uh, uh, during the course of the episode. Obviously, I didn't show you. But uh, we got that win, obviously, 48 points now, and we are in fourth position in the league after 26 games played. 40 wins, 6 draws, 6 losses. Um, yeah, no player in any of this is quite surprising, but... As I've said, consistently inconsistent all season long, and it goes for the majority of the players as well. So there you are, my friends. We're done and dusted for another episode of the Palermo Problem, and we're through to the second knockout round of the Europa League. Unbelievable stuff there, my friends. But uh, yeah, that is us done. Return next time for the second leg of the semi-final of the Coppa Italia. Hopefully, we can book ourselves in the final for the second year in a row. But my friends, until then, if you're new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button, drop a like if you've enjoyed today's episode, hit the bell notification button to never miss an episode. You'll find all my socials and my Discord in the description box below. I did all that in one breath. But anyway, my friends, I'll see you guys all later. You've all been legends. Bye.